Welcome to the Butterflies of Light installation. Um, you should actually read the attached Butterflies of Light down below before you go through the installation. It'll make, it make a lot more sense. Also, this is a mock-up built in Second Life to make this abstract idea more concrete. Here's the entrance to the caterpillar stage of the installation. The two abstract butterflies are actually copulating. I know, blatant sex right on the front facade. There goes the G rating. But this gives rise to the egg that is laid on the underside of the leaf. The egg is actually a one-way child-sized rotating door. Yes, an adult will fit, but they will need to crouch and shuffle. The idea of this larval stage is that it's scaled for a child that is about meeting their developmental needs as well as starting small, like a larva emerging from an egg. For the teen and adult, it provides more of a childlike view of the world, so they get to, to reminisce back to their own childhood. A rotating door was chosen because it slows the flow into the installation. It's mechanically simple and prevents pinched fingers. However, its primary function is to act as an entry point into another world. So it needs to be cool. Emblazoned on the rotating egg is a sign that says, made with love. I prefer it said, created with love, as creativity is a subtext of this entire installation. Inside the egg is a sign, who am I? Which is the theme of this initial stage. There's also a sign listening appropriate behaviors inside the installation, which the adult would be expected to enforce, removing the child if necessary. Can you tell that I'm a teacher? Once exited, this is the view looking inside of this installation. The child is now immersed in a jungle. Glancing up uh, from the entryway, the child sees several butterfly eggs and a newly hatched larva that is emerging from the underside of a leaf. Glancing down and to the right, the child sees the beginning of their journey on the balance beam. Stems. Oh no, the child spies a sharp-toothed monster in the water. Being brave and facing their childhood fears is one of the lessons inherent in this journey. Here is the first I am special station, which in this case is I am unique and special. The child would make a note, color, or draw something in their provided Who Am I journal with the help of the adult if necessary. Parents love when their kids bring home such items. Journals help children engage in an active way with installation and it also reinforces creativity. If the child glances back over their other shoulder, they'll see this tongue-in-cheek monster who chalked the sign, reassuring them that it's fine to go swimming. Because points of humor and quirkiness in the installation makes for a more enjoyable experience.
Continuing on their journey and carefully stepping over various larvae, the child will encounter two more stations. I am creative, I am brave, fearless, and I am strong. Basically all of the stations are about the child affirming themselves, seeing their strengths and their potential. On the left side are two more stations. I am lovable and capable, and I am kind and compassionate. While these signs came from clip art off of the web, in the actual installation, all 2D and 3D art would be produced by local artists. Passing under the final arch, it's time to proceed to the cocoon. Once again, it's a revolving door that emphasizes the transformational process of metamorphosis. It also has a sign that says, I make myself with every choice I make. A better me is made of better choices, which is the theme of the next stage. This is the view from the butterfly stage. Notice the emerging monarch butterflies and flying monarch butterflies. Notice there are now thorns on the sides of the rose stems. These represent the negative choices one can make. Next to it is an appropriate piece of art situated next to it. While doing a values clarification exercise can be very intellectual, art ties into the emotive part of the brain and helps abstract ideas become real. So the question behind this third station is, what sort of parent would you like to be? Glancing to the right here, you see on the left of this picture that the yelling, screaming parent is not the kind of parent one would want to be, as opposed to the one on the right that is loving and nurturing. So in this installation, there's nine stations all together with various reflective questions that helps the teen clarify their values that help them make better life choices. Finally, the teen approaches this giant hand. This hand can represent the sacred, God, a helping hand. But it's a choice to enter this final stage, which is the stage of enlightenment.
a circular room was chosen for this part of the installation, as it's found in many religious and spiritual traditions, the circle. So this could be very easily a multi-purpose room. It could be the site of an exhibition of art from various religious and faith traditions. With the, with the overarching theme that, yes, we're all different, with different faiths, different beliefs, different philosophies, and that's fine, and we can even celebrate it, as long as those beliefs are loving and constructive and not hateful and destructive. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the Butterflies of Light installation.